guys is killing the youth it's killing the youth welcome back to another vlog if you're new here my name is Zizi and on this channel senses and those all go me way to we just we do life life as it is so um, welcome if you're new this is going to be a weekend vlog and I have a couple of things to do this weekend so I thought my vlog I just stepped out of the shower today is Friday according to California one second uh, yeah today's Friday um, it's like quarter past seven I don't know if you can see that I just stepped out, stepped out of the shower when I finished work and I'm flying I went to the gym and then I went and picked up some food at like the local Woolies and then I just took a shower and then we're gonna eat. My poor hubby Betunana is still working. Can you believe it on a Friday night? But yeah, so I'm currently making dinner. Making dinner. I'll show you guys just now, but I just wanna do my skincare quickly before I go into shop. I think the food is pretty much ready now. So I'm using this mirror, sorry this viewfinder as my mirror because I don't have a mirror on this wall. There's like a, you guys are sitting on top of like a chest of drawers. Ooh. Typically on Friday I do like my anti-aging skincare. Um, so I just applied the Buffet Serum from The Ordinary. And this is like a peptide serum yeah multi technology peptide serum so I apply that and I then apply my granite of retinoid 2% um, in squalene and then I apply my moisturizer um, from Eucerin and that's it really in the PM um, that I do I, I probably do this like twice a week on other days I use like different products maybe I should film like a nighttime skincare routine on other nights I use different products but twice a week typically on like a Monday and a Friday I do my buffet serum and my granites of retinoid so okay, this can focus guys I don't know if you can see this like scarring over here can you see that scarring and then I have a little bit more scarring like over here and here. Oh, it's better this side. It's barely there. There's like a couple, but it's barely there. But it's mainly on this side and then on my forehead. So I recently got onto a contraceptive like four months ago. And maybe like three weeks after putting it in, I, I'm using the Kylina IUD. Like three weeks after putting in my IUD, my skin started wilding. Like, <laughs> I started getting breakouts literally every single week. Like every single week, I'll have like a whole bunch of new pimples, and they would be like scattered, like not scattered, like clustered in one in one place on my face. And it made me so sad because I didn't expect it. Um, I was expecting some symptoms with my contraceptive like I probably expected that I might have some mood swings I might have appetite changes and whatnot those are typically the symptoms that like one would expect I did not expect my skin 
to like act out and by since chikele but kesana sand chikele is skin sound on by chonga kuya kwekiwa but it's been like four months now and like if you guys can see there's scars ne but there isn't like active alive pimples and i think it's because um Zimbabwe has probably like now adjusted and gotten used to the contraceptive but there isn't really um like active pimples anymore so thank god for that um i really hope it was just for those first like two or three months that i had those breakouts and that was the end of them um the fact that i am so religious with my skincare i think probably helped a bit especially with the scarring um i don't know how my skin would have been if i wasn't using like actives in my skincare routine because i've been using like exfoliators like i use mandalic acid i have this um aha bha peeling solution and then i also use like a salicylic acid cleanser so i use actives and then i also use retinol which obviously then helps with my acne and i use um like a blemish corrector from skin functional amongst like some of the products that i use in my skin so i think that's probably like helped me quite a bit but yay and i can't imagine how my skin would have been if i wasn't using those products i can't imagine but anyways um yeah guys welcome to a new vlog um let me just wash my hands quickly so i can apply my hair serum for those of you guys who are new i have relaxed hair i've probably had relaxed hair now for about five weeks or six weeks um i had natural hair for can't even remember how long two and a half years and then before that i had dreadlocks for five years or six years um but yeah now i have relaxed hair i'm just gonna apply my like serum i use this kerastase serum it's like an overnight type of serum my friend unamsha is the one who plugged me on this thing and guys this stuff is like liquid gold <laughs> love it absolutely absolutely love this product so because i'm at home i don't really do much with my hair to be quite honest i just keep my hair in like a bun every day all day and then like three to four times a week i apply like a serum and a moisturizer um yeah so i use either this kerastase serum or i use my moroccan oil serum and then when i feel like my hair also needs moisture i'll typically either use my as i am hydrating lotion or like a leave-in conditioner and then seal it in with the serum um but yeah this is the serum i love this product I think of all of my relaxed hair care products, this Kerastase one is like my favorite. You can find it at like hair salons, like white women hair salons. <laughs> or Ganya, you can find it at like the spa. I know Life Lux Spa, which is where I do my, my nails, they stock it. That's literally how I wear my hair. <laughs> pretty much every single day um i'm gonna go and do a weave this sunday at candy and co um yeah well sorry guys i think i've been rambling welcome to another vlog um i hope that you join our online family and subscribe to this channel but for now let's go and dish up dinner and eat and then i want to like pay some of our bills tonight um before i go to bed because some of our bills are due like tomorrow or like early next week so i want to pay for some of them today and then i want to edit a video for my personal finance channel that's my plan for tomorrow and then over the weekend i want to do like some feminine maintenance um clean up and organize some stuff in the house and then my husband and i are going to go for date night so i hope you guys enjoy the vlog <laughs> So I keep my retinol products in the fridge um, instead of in the cupboard. They do say here 
that you need to keep them in the fridge but instead of using like a skincare fridge i just use the normal fridge in the kitchen because i don't think it's necessary i think the food's burning i don't think it's necessary to go and like buy a whole separate fridge that you can just use the fridge in your kitchen keep them right there so i'm prepping dinner Oof. okay that wasn't very smart okay that's our dinner right there it's basically this um beef meatballs and tomato sauce with, with basil pesto this here is the pesto that's supposed to go in it this is for Woody's. guys i swear like as meals is they exist to save marriages and to save families <laughs> because at the end of a work day i'm honestly just so tired to cook so these things are just so handy so this is it i made some rice some cauliflower rice so my husband doesn't do low carb so he has that and i have this because i am doing low carb There's also this like leftover gem squash that we had earlier in the week. It doesn't really go with this meal, but I'm gonna add it because I don't want it to go to waste. And I think I cooked it like on Wednesday, and we had it on Wednesday and Thursday. So I'm just gonna add it to this meal just so that we can, you know, finish it because I don't want it to go to waste. One thing about me, guys, I am the queen of shortcuts. So then it's so only unnecessarily a cool wet. Looking for my mother's eyes as I'm staying close to the mirror. A lock of gold, a secret smile, little things I remember. Baby, was a cleaner. Oh, no, no, I'm joking, Sana Sam. I'm joking. Are you gonna come work here? I'm not coming now. Okay, on came on my. No sugar, ne? breakfast <laughs> <laughs> Bona, you, you're literally shivering <laughs> I think I'm probably gonna have to do my wax after my nails do, you have a do I have my wallet yes I do I was still gonna go to the bank oh snap yeah, what time are you doing? I don't know if I want to be back on time. I'll probably be done. I'll probably be done at like 12, half 12. 
Okay. At the bank. Mm. Maybe call this particular F and B and ask to talk to Otavia. Mm. Uh, and ask her like to clarify what she meant with you if they send me a card for your bank account. Because yeah. the card arrived but you're thinking about your your card your account doesn't appear on my app. Okay. Yeah. So today is Saturday. Um, I'm late for my nail appointment. You might have my phone. I'm supposed to do my waxes um, first. From I was supposed to do my waxes from 10 until quarter to 11, and then from quarter to 11 until 12, I was supposed to be doing my nails. So she said, "Well, you know, it's fine. I can come, and then I'll decide when I get there if I should maybe just start with my nails first, and then." If my wax lady is available after I do my nails, then I can do my wax. Um, and then I wanna run a couple of errands. I wanna go get like some storage containers because I wanna try and organize like our toiletries and I wanna go and like stock up on some, oh, shucks, on some toiletries that have run out um, for the and I. And then I wanna come home, I wanna go to the gym and I wanna, um, cook dinner and then i want to wash in fact i need to unravel a wig um i've just i think i've come to the realization that i'm actually just not a wig person <laughs> i'm not a wig person so i want to try out a weave as i was saying to you guys i want to do a weave but i want to use the bundles that i had used to make my wig to do the weave because i'm full of tenga like in Malaysia. um if i'm never gonna use that wig anyway so i need to unravel that wig and then i'm gonna use it and I should wash it because tomorrow I have an appointment at Candy and Co. The one inside for Shimi and Foy's um, for Band Yogwen's weave. So I have a lot going on. Um, I'm gonna try and take you guys with me as far as I can. And then, oh, I forgot my painkillers for my waxes. But you know what? It says it better. It's better than your waxes. I'm like they're not as bad as they used to be. I think because I'm Kylie. You know, um, <laughs> I used to take painkillers when I first started getting my waxes, but I don't take them anymore, so I'm fine now. Um, but yeah, and then after my, I do my weave tomorrow, um, we're gonna go for date night on Sunday. We were supposed to go today, but I wanted to go get my hair done first. I'm not gonna relax my hair because my relax is still quite fresh. I've only had like four, five, five, five. Maybe six, five weeks, probably five weeks. So I'm not gonna like redo my relaxer, but I'm gonna put in a weave and then I'm gonna look nice and I'm gonna put on some makeup and go for dinner with my man. Um, but yeah, let me go for my nail appointment in between. These are the nails that I currently have right now. I don't know if you guys can like see that. These are the nails that I currently have. And guys, I've had these for like over three weeks. It's probably like hitting on four now. You can see how slowly my nails grow, but ugh, my hands are so ashy. My friend Tampis. But my nail tech sham utu me at Life Lats in Santon. And that what I love about Utu me is that like she cares about the health of your nails. You know what I mean? She's not she's not only just concerned about ensuring that like your nails look nice, but like balance, baby, balance. She she ensures that like your nails look nice. And your nails stay healthy. I absolutely love her. Do I have some hand cream in here? <sighs> oh, flip on the hand cream. It's fine, but I'm going to do my nails anyways. I'll get hand cream at the nail salon. See you guys later. Hi, boy, there's literally no parking. Give me a pig and me a munch. There's literally no parking. Okay, I'll go park there at the bottom. Spot. Let me go for my appointment. You always posting up 
bitches Trying to look like you winning I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen Soaking in moments we live in, yeah You got the nerve to be on me Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't add me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus Ooh. I'm on hiatus uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me Taking time out Thanks, Alright, bye. 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 Guys, see ya. Pella Hi, bo. Hi, bo. Hi, bo. Hi, bo. Kaza nga kutola. Kaza nga kutola. Futi my shoes are killing me. Flip. I want to go to Vodacom and see MTN to go and cancel like my contracts, but I don't know if I have the strength. Let me call my husband first. <sighs> Babe, I'm trying to call you, but you're not answering your phone. Um, I just finished at the nail salon, so I wanted to ask, should I come home so that we can go to the bank? Or should we deal with the bank issue like next weekend? And then I can like run my other errands. Let me know. I'm going to drive out of um, the capital. And then you will let me know okay, what I should do. Okay, love you. Bye. Another reason guys why I don't want to go to Santon like the mall is because I just really hate being in the mall <laughs> I really hate being in the mall um, Especially Santon City because I swear Santon City is like in fact Santon in general is like an extension of the University of Cape Town You understand? Guys, you're going to bump into somebody from UCT. I'm telling you now you must be crazy, gotta be out of your mind Yo, how on earth am I ever gonna get out of here? This is so tricky Put in the river, I said this way. Then Kupa gonna up, okay, Mike. They are so cool. And you are? Dipu me up, the side. Okay. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you. Tabulel. You must be crazy. You gotta be out of your mind. Out of your mind. You must be drunk. You gotta be real high. Real, uh, there's a real yes that I want to make with that song on my personal finance channel. Um, if you guys don't know, I make personal finance content on a channel called Money and Purpose, and I do like personal finance education for like young people, so particularly young people of color. So if you're not following me on that page, go ahead and do it. I was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy
Talked about everything that was on our mind Talking to you gave me butterflies Then you took my hand said let's leave now Hi guys, I just got back. I feel like I've been gallivanting the streets literally all day long. Let me take this off. I feel like I've been gallivanting the streets all day long. But I just got home. It's just before seven. I went after uh in the only shop been there to buy these containers and then after Westpac um I went to uh Santon City and I bumped into Inkita and her man. Um, I, I went to to think, why do you look like a Ginza <laughs> with that bee? <laughs> <laughs> um, I went to get Unamkla a gift for her birthday. Let me just show you guys quickly. I went to Danielle Wellington, my favorite jewelry brand ever. I think of all the jewelry that I have, aside from like my ring obviously, but my jewelry from Daniel Wellington is my favorite. This watch here for example, is from Daniel Wellington. It was bought for me by Omundu Bot. Oh, I can't actually open the. Oh, no, can I? No. Don't open it. Oh, no, I can. I can. Don't worry, I'm not going to post this vlog before she um gets it anyway so this is this will be a while after she receives it so i went and got her a bracelet she has a watch exactly like this but you see how mine has like a rose gold face she has the same watch but with a white face so i got her this bracelet i don't know if you guys can see that it's a daniel wellington bracelet it's the one with the white detail so it's like a little on the thicker side can you see that yes you can it's a little on the thicker side um so she can even wear it like by itself without without the watch or she can pair it with with the watch but yeah that's the gift her birthday is only like i think in 10 days time so i'm, I'm gonna try to post it like next weekend or going it during the week sometime so that it arrives to at her place in Cape Town. She lives in Cape Town. So it arrives at her place like either by or before her birthday. Um, yeah, so I went to Santon City to pick up this little gift. Um, I also went and got toiletries from Discam. I didn't get everything because I wanted to get some things from Discam and some things from Clicks because like some stuff was on sale at Discam and others were on sale at Clicks. So I thought I was gonna like buy the stuff like that, but then I ended up not being able to because I went to disc camp first, got the stuff I wanted, and then I went to um, Daniel Wellington, and then I went to Clicks. Well, I was going to go to Clicks, but then by the time I got there, it was closed. I was supposed to pick up dinner at Woolies, but I forgot, and I only realized when I was driving back home, but I got paid on So, <laughs> I picked up some chicken chicken. So, that's what we're going to have for dinner. Shem, have you been working? What? Were you working today? Mm -hmm. I was being domesticated. Pops of cheese, which is a lot. Do you have both, baby? Do you need our buses? Look at you. You're fine, but not get away. This is our dinner. So romantic. My face is like a macantil. Hi, guys. So it's much later in the day. And John, I'm in how? <laughs> And how I remember I said with you tomorrow I'm going to go do a weave <clears throat> at the Candy and Co. in Foy's Mall. So I had these bundles, right? But these bundles <laughs> were in the form of an actual wig that I got made. But after I realized what you know, I'd, I think I didn't do a wig. I thought, let me undo these bundles from that wig. And then wash them and take them to use them for my weave tomorrow and i decided to unravel the wig myself and to wash it myself because they're going to charge me 200 rand to wash the bundles and 200 rand to unravel the wig so i thought you know what that's 400 rand i can do that here so i'm just going to quickly wash them i want to use this tresemme treatment it's like a keratin Deep smoothing mask. I think it's part of the yeah, it's part of the keratin smooth collection. 
I think I have a shampoo. Yeah, here. Um, this is shampoo. Yeah, I'm gonna use the shampoo here. It's this <coughs> Tresemme Keratin Smooth. So it's basically in the same range as this. Um, I guess mask. I also have like a. I also have this co-wash um, but I feel like this co-wash is not going to be sufficient so I'm going to use the shampoo and then straight after the shampoo I'm going to use this mask I literally spent two hours guys unraveling this from the wig but it's fine my too I only bought one because I wasn't sure if it was going to fit because I, don't, I think it's a little too deep and I don't know if my chest of drawers is that deep but I'll show you guys if it does fit and if it does I'm going to go get another one so that I can organize my cosmetics that I use when I'm like getting dressed like my skincare like my facial skincare and my body skincare so this one's not for the bathroom this one's for my chest of drawers and then I got these oh my God. Got these, they're like exactly the same, and all of these guys they range at about like 100 rand. They, yeah, on average, it's like 100 rand. They probably range between like 70 and like 150 each, depending on the size. But yeah, I got these two, they're like identical. This one's a little bit like flatter, but it's like wider. So I'm gonna try and organize this cabinet. Okay, so I think I've found a little bit of method to my madness. Also, it turns out that these containers that I got, guys, they're actually um, not enough. But, like, it's fine, right, too. You know? We make do. We make do with what we got. So, um, what I've decided to do is that right here in this corner, I'm going to put, like, my bath, like, my bubble bath stuff. Um, I've just got my set skin um, foam bath, absolute favorite foam bath. I'll just take it out completely. It's the like it's the cocoa butter, moisturizing cocoa butter. This is my favorite bubble bath of all time, like of all, all, all time. But it doesn't fit if I put it upright. So I think it is like Ganji. and then I've got. 
got like these bath salts that were a gift from a friend that I've used a couple of times. And then this is like my favorite Epsom salt, which is the Dr. Teal's one. The Shea Butter and Almond Oil. And then I've got another Epsom salt here at the back. It's a chamomile one, really great for when you are going to sleep. My 30 minute timer is pretty much done. And then I've got my sugar scrub from the body shop. Um, it's the warm vanilla. It's from the body shop. Right next to it, I'm gonna put like my wig hair care. I've just got like my co-wash, shampoo, and then like a treatment. I think in fact, let me put the treatment closer to the front. So this is like my relaxed hair care products that I'm currently using. I've got this um, Tresemme Botanic Moisture and Replenish Conditioner as well as the accompanying um, shampoo so I use on my relaxed hair. And then sometimes I use this, oh, oopsie, I use this Cream of Nature hair mask. I used to use this when I had natural hair as well. Um, this is by far my most favorite wash day product for relaxed taste, the Olaplex Hair Perfector number three. And then I use this castor oil that I've had probably for like two years from Native Child. I use this as a treatment. And then I also recently got this Shea Moisture Manuka Honey Intensive Hydration mask that I want to use tomorrow before I go and do my weave and then I've just got like a what you call it like a tangle teaser and then over here I've got my like everyday styling stuff for my natural like my relaxed hair um this I don't really I don't use on my relaxed hair this I use more on like wigs I specifically got it for like wigs and weaves so that's what I'm gonna use it for but the rest of the stuff in here, like this S curl um, moisturizer, this as I am moisturizer, this um, leave-in conditioner, then there's the serum and the oil. These are things I use like on the daily on my relaxed hair. So I'll just keep those there. These are like additional styling tools that I use. I've got some got to be another got to be I think this is L'Oreal um like similar to another got to be I've got some hair mousse like a water spray bottle some combs um, edge control yeah eco style edge control that's just like an old toothbrush so I use these styling tools but to be honest I don't use them very often so I think these I can keep here at the bottom next to like my wig care so this is what we're currently working with so over here i decided to pack away all of our oral hygiene stuff extra toothbrush toothpaste mouthwash some floss in here here i've got my everyday styling tools and essentials that's what's in here so I can just pull this out whenever I need to do my hair. Here we've got this little Geza shower gel, face wash, some soap, hand wash, and then here I've got like additional styling tools. Here I've just got my wig wash day stuff, which is literally just three things, and I usually just use one or two of them at the most. Here I've got my relaxed hair care stuff. And then over here, it's my like bubble bath essentials. There are some things that I haven't yet found a home. So I've got these cotton pads, earbuds, cosmetic pads, more earbuds. What's this? Oh, this is for my humidifier and a spare pregnancy test. So I think what I'm going to do to like find a home for these items, I'm gonna get an additional one of these and then right here. And then there's also these like natural hair care products that I used to use when I still had my natural hair. These two are like treatments or like hair masks and these three 
a butter and then that's like a hair oil but these are all like more natural hair care products um so i want to package these and send them to my sister because she still has natural hair so i'm going to pack these away and then when i go and post a gift and i'll take these with me so that i can post them to my sister so my timer went off for this hair i'm just going to rinse it and i'm going to go lay it out to dry and i'm just going to tidy up here delightly catch you guys tomorrow good morning guys oh it's not really morning it's like after 12. today's sunday and i'm on my way to the hair salon i'm rushing because i'm running late underneath here i'm busy deep conditioning my hair um i wash my hair myself and like oh gosh i look so sketchy because <gasps> i'm going into you guys understand what and then for me it's a transformation i'm gonna look different after i do my hair but i'm wearing a beanie because underneath here i'm actually deep conditioning my hair and the reason why i decided to wash my hair is because i wanted to first do like an olaplex strengthening treatment before but yeah i'm late so can't chat gotta go bye <laughs> Which product are you using? Sorry? Which product? Um, I use a combination. So I use Olaplex yes. and Shea Moisture. And then I also use Moroccan oil. Work it out. Only time will tell. It's gonna take a lot. Cause we've been through hell. I can't be without you. I've tried and i failed. So can we work it out? Only time will tell. Why do you, why do you keep telling me nothing? But I know why you floss, at least they say something Still I try to connect with you through your eyes Your eyes What is on your mind? I think it's time to speak I have crossed the line But no, not just me I'm feeling something that goes beyond us, us, us. Can we work it out? Only time will tell It's gonna take a lot Cause we've been through hell I can't be without you I've tried and i failed So can we work it out? Yeah. Only time will tell I still want all of you and I know all your colors And I guess cause of that I can think of no others Yeah, I need you to breathe without you, I'm lost I'm lost, yo What is on your mind? I think it's time to speak I have crossed the line, but no, not just me I'm feeling something that goes beyond Yes, guys, I'm so I'm looking at the viewfinder, it's just fantastic. So, just so happy with how my hair turned out. It's not like perfect because I think she left out, like, she didn't leave enough leave out. Do you get what I mean? And I specifically asked her to leave some leave out, and Jonga, it's not enough, like, it's genuinely not enough, but it's fine. We're to like. <laughs> It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. But I was saying, good guys, I have a theory. I think I'm nah. The reason why God won't let me have my dream body is because I'd be out here wilding. I would be wilding if like Dimplegange with just this face makeup free. And then this hair. Imagine, imagine if I had the body of my dreams. Gaban Bambik. If I had my dream body, guys, I'd be wilding. Wilding. Hi, guys. So, we're off to dinner. I decided not to actually wear makeup. Because I don't want to take it off. So, I'm just not going to wear it. <laughs> 
Babe, you haven't seen the belt for this jacket? Let's go. I'm so excited. I want you to rock the boat. You look nice there. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope Everywhere